Hi, I don't know if you like bananas, I really do. But have you ever wondered where they come from? Most of the bananas in our shops come from South America or the Caribbean. The clothes we wear, the food we eat, the milk we drink, cars we drive, Xboxes, Playstations, toys, many of them are produced in other countries and come to us on ships. Once those ships come into the UK's waters, it is our responsibility to help them get safely into port. We have a number of lighthouses and we deploy, or put into place, light vessels and buoys to identify safe channels through the water and to mark any hazards. Trinity House has two ships and a rapid intervention vessel that work all year round to keep ships and boats safe. I'm here on one of the ships to find out what it does. OK, Sarah, we're on board the Galatea. Can you tell us a bit about what the, the ship actually does? The Galatea is a boy tender. She um, puts navigational marks out for marking safe channels. She looks after the lighthouses around the country, um, refuelling them, making sure that they're operational, checking the lights on them to make sure they're working. Thousands of ships come to and leave our country every year. Other ships just pass near our coast on their way to other countries. Ferries crisscross the English Channel and the Irish Sea every day and there are many smaller fishing and sailing boats. So how busy are UK coastal waters? Yeah, England is a very busy place. The Gulf of is one of the busiest shipping lanes in the world. We oversee 69 lighthouses in England, Wales, the Channel Islands and Gibraltar. We also have eight lightships and hundreds of different types of buoy. The first ever lighthouse was built on the island of Faros more than 2,000 years ago to warn sailors of the sandbars near the port's entrance. During the day, a mirror at the top reflected sunlight and at night a bonfire was kept burning as a warning. Many of the lighthouses in our country are built on the top of cliffs so that they stand out and can be seen from miles out to sea. They are mostly tall white buildings, usually in the shape of a tower which often have either red or black stripes on them. The coloured bands help mariners, the people who sail ships and yachts, to identify each lighthouse so they know where they are. The bands also help the towers to stand out, especially on a cloudy day. But not all lighthouses are built on the mainland. Some are built on a rock or an island out to sea. Coquette Lighthouse is on an island off the northeast coast of England and today the Galatea is taking fuel and water across to the island. Because on Coquit Island, it's a bird sanctuary, people are living there all year round, so we have to provide water for them so that they've got fresh water to drink. Because the Galatea is a big ship, it has to use the smaller boats it carries to go backwards and forwards. The ships are also equipped to work with helicopters, which take equipment out to the lighthouse. As well as her work keeping ships safe, the Galatea also helps other companies which have to work out at sea. Uh, we've been contracted out recently to go and lift generators on and off the top of the windmills. And a couple of years ago we were laying uh, big concrete mattresses on top of the cables that came away from the windmill after the tendons. You can see that the Galatea is kept busy in many ways, especially in keeping other ships safe. Why don't you look around and see if you can find out where some of the food you eat comes from? Perhaps some of it comes to our country on a ship.